Hi, it's Grace, and I have another little Flip It album. And uh, this is my second album that I have done with the beautiful Graphic 45 uh, Botanical Tea. And uh, my first one was, um, was uh, a boxed mini, and this is the Flip It. And what I've done here is uh, I've uh, glossy accented the teapot and uh, I put about three layers on it and had to uh, back it with some uh, lightweight chipboard so it wouldn't uh, curl and bubble. And then I have a die cut here of a little, little uh, teacup. And uh, that's a Spellbinders die. And then I have this little corner piece here. I think it's a Joy. I'll have to check what, what that is. But that's a little die cut there. And then I have the rolled, uh, rolled roses. And uh, some little punched flowers. And some little sprigs. And then I have a little, some of the gold... Uh, little stickers around here and I just took some of the strips and uh, put them on the spine and uh, we'll take a look inside this cute little album and here we go this is the first opening page and over here I have a little pocket here and uh, this is a um, this is an EK Success punch, I believe. And then a Martha Stewart uh, punch here that I wove uh, this blue ribbon in and out of and then put it down on top of the pocket. And this is just some of the little stamps there. And here I have that same little die and I have put it onto a, a tag. And I did it on both sides. I'm going to find out what that tag is. Let me see. Hold on. Well, I've got it buried, so I'll just have to uh, get it and uh, put it down in the description. But I, I love it. I've used it quite a bit. So I just backed it on both sides, and then that goes right back in there, like that. And I cut out one of the roses from uh, the main feature page. And uh, I split that page up in different sections and got a lot of mileage out of it. And uh, there's a closer look at that little die there. And here. And um, I'll try to list all of the uh, dies I have down in the uh, description. Here's a little flip it page right here. And in the front of this little flip it page is a little booklet. And this is one of the little die cuts that um, come with the uh, collection. And they're just darling and some uh, beautiful, I think these are Cherry Lynn dies. And then uh, this is a little booklet here. And I put the paper, the matching coordinating paper back there. And then this is uh, one of the cut aparts, the four by six cut aparts. You can journal back here. And uh, then it's got a larger uh, thing there. And you could also put pictures on the back of that. And then I put a little ribbon with uh, the coordinating color for the page right there. And then that opens. And you can see that these pocket pages are dimensional as well as these pockets down here are dimensional too. So they can hold quite a bit in addition to this booklet itself. And this allows for that expansion. And then we have this page with another butterfly. And here is a magnetized uh, pocket here. And this flips out. And... Uh, Again, a cut apart here, and uh, this uh, this little bird thing is backed on some chipboard. There's some little dragonflies punched out there, and uh, this is a spellbinder's die, 
and another one of the booklets which is so cute just love these little pages and I also used uh, some of the six by six papers in this which are just uh, really nice to have the next page has a die cut here magnetic flip out a little die cut booklet and some little die cuts here and there <clears throat> this paper goes so beautifully I like this whole look of these colors another booklet I think this is probably one of the most uh, popular collections that Graphic 45 has put out and uh, everybody just loves it. I'm going to be doing two classes on uh, on um, this paper line and this is a little just punched out flower inked and shaped and uh, that opens. Another little die cut here with a little dragonfly on it. A cute little stamp here with with a die cut and a flower and um, then this opens this is such pretty paper here too and there little pink uh, ribbon on that one this the mechanics on this book are, are so so nice they just uh, fit so well and six by six pages and pieces fit on here so nicely this I cut out this fussy cut this little bird out along with the leaves and then I just uh, popped him up so that I could put um, this um, little tag in here so he this tag just fits right behind him I glued the leaf down on the side because the little tag just kept moving around but um, I love this page it just was kind of a happy accident you can see how it looks right there and uh, then of course so that opens and uh, that page coordinates with uh, throughout another one of these little corner pieces here with some little flowers and the beautiful bird and the bird in the nest and this beautiful paper back here there we go and another part of the part of one of the featured pages and this bird is just so cute and he opens up and then I just put that uh, little die cut up there and here's another little pocket over here, a little booklet, butterfly, and the brownish papers all go together here. And then this is one of the lovely, oh, the hummingbirds are so cute. And the dogwood flowers, love those. Reminds me of my days back east. And the last page, which I did another one of the uh, laced uh, eyelets ribbon type thing here with a little pocket. And uh, this is, um, uh, let me get this paper. This is uh, open here so that you can put uh, a picture by back there. And I overlap this rose up here and because uh, I didn't want to cut it off and then I have this spellbinders this is spellbinders and uh, this uh, gazebo is also a spellbinders die it's just gorgeous just love it little teacup and uh, this opens and it has a waterfall I only have three pages to this one though, but that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pictures you can put there. And uh, that is the album.
it's very pretty colors beautiful designs and it's just a lot of fun working with uh, not only this paper line but this book pattern and it is so uh, easy to do and you can find the pattern for this at my daughter's uh, Etsy shop uh, paper hoarder disorder you can also view a lot of her really really cute uh, videos uh, of what she's done with uh, this uh, booklet and and uh, you can find her on YouTube uh, under the same name paper hoarder disorder but they are a lot of fun so check her out and I'll talk to you later thanks bye